to come, but I need your discipline. Dr. Bob, I need your voice. Yeah, yeah. I gotta repeat that. Yeah, yeah. Grand Wizard of the KKK is who this bridge is named after. We will. It's time for us to change that name. I said, what? Can you imagine a bridge being named to honor a Nazi? Come on. This is what I need you to do. Don't leave Selma without doing something. Some of you, and I love you, I ain't messing wrong. But if you ain't gonna pay $10 to get into that, and you're the foot soldiers, or if you don't go and pay that $10, or if you don't buy something and leave something for Selma, sister, that ain't sisterhood. Brothers, that ain't brotherhood. If you want the Jubilee to be here for your children. And you help me at all. On TV. Please don't. Not yet. Hey, we welcome you to your grace. Yes, we are heard of your grace. He is going to Park. Woo! The best chapter in the world.
Delta's Delta in the house?
they just couldn't have been kind to these guys. So that scared the company so bad.
site. Exactly. Uh, logistics. We need a logistical coordinator. I should have said the city of wheels where we make all your automobiles. I used to. <laughs> yep, we're here at the Edmund Pettis Bridge. As you see, nobody is on the bridge just yet. And we will be coming back shortly.
to come, but I need your discipline. Stop your Bible, I need your voice. incarcerated formerly incarcerated women and girls and we want to free girls free women free people not prisons free our represent the Jalen Barker Foundation in Thompson Mississippi
We are the Yazoo City Alumni Chapter. Okay, excellent, excellent. And um, what uh, have you got a chance to do so far? So far, we've been able to, now they've done more than we have, but so far, the two of us, we've been able to wander around and buy little souvenirs and things, you know. So, yes. So we're going to the reenactment, and we're going to walk the bridge. In action. All right. Thank you so Great. Much. Thank you. So much. Thank Thank you. Have a good day.
to remember the blood that was shed. We got to reach down in the baton in the blood and pick up the baton and carry it the next mile of the way. There ought to be some power in the blood. How many of you all are registered to vote? How many of you all are going to get somebody and vote? Yeah. Let me tell you something. If Harriet Tubman could get 500 slaves out of slavery, and she didn't have Gmail, she didn't have Google, she didn't have Periscope, she didn't have Livestream, she didn't have Twitter, all she had was a made-up mind, a heart full of faith, and a, and a mind that said, before I be a slave, I'll be buried in my grave. Yes, we must march today, but we cannot merely have a 55-year celebration. We need a recommitment. We need a recommitment. And lastly, if people are fighting, voting this hard, and fighting black and white people coming together, and brown people, and Asian people, and native people, and gay people, and straight people from coming together, if they're fighting this hard for us to come together, we must have power. We must have power. If they are afraid of us coming together, why don't we actualize their fear? Why don't we make sure that they really do have something to be afraid of? All of us coming together. Now I'm gonna close right here. I said to a group yesterday that in the Bible, the word for vote and the word for voice is the same word. You better hear what I'm saying. In Hebrew, the word for vote is koil. It's spelled K-O-L, but it's pronounced Q-O-L, koil. It means the voice of God or whenever you allow God's voice, God's will to be spoken through your lips and your life. And that same word coil is the same word for vote, which means when you vote right, you're speaking the words of God. Well, let me tell you what God loves. God speaks love. God speaks justice. God speaks taking care of the sick. God speaks lifting up the poor. God speaks caring for the immigrant. So we ought to go to the pole and speak for God. And let God speak for us. Every time we vote, we ought to speak justice. Every time we vote, we ought to speak righteousness. Every time we vote, we ought to vote, speak living wages. Every time we vote, we ought to speak health care. Every time we vote, we ought to speak justice. Is there anybody ready to start speaking? Touch your neighbors and neighbor. We've been quiet. I'm sorry, but I'm going to say it too damn low. Too damn low. Yeah. Speak up! Speak up.